Welcome to the Pastor Fisher Podcast with your co-host Dwayne T and yours truly. Now let's get started. Hey, what's up? Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is this yes, is the Pastor Fisher. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> To the Absolutely. Past Official Show podcast. Hey, hey. <laughs> we are back we're still again. here. Yes, still here. we're still here. We're still here, and we're still grateful, and we're still thankful for being here. Amen. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. That's right. That's right. God is good all the, all time. the time, and all the time, all the time. God, God is, is good. good. Come on, I can hear y'all That's saying right. it. <laughs> <I did. laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now yeah, we got, um, we got my. Don't forget, we got our special. Co-host right here, Mr. Okay. Dwayne T. Hey, what's hey. up, what's up? How y'all doing? The voice of reasoning for this show. All right. I must have <laughs> get a t-shirt, man. You said it enough. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, good idea. Hey. <laughs> the voice of reasoning. <laughs> People going to see you out in public and they're going to be like, hey, hey, what's up, voice of reasoning? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that won't be weird at all. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> you are the man. <laughs> no, you're the man. You know what I mean? I'm the man that knows the man. So hey, come we on both now. the man. And me too. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Indeed, all right, indeed. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, well, thank you for being here. Today is February yeah. the first. Yes, sir. 2024. It is Black yeah. History Month. Is that's right. here. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And that's what we are celebrating today. That's what our topic is today. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to be talking about what Black History means. To me, and then mm. Mr. Dwayne T is going to talk about what Black history means to him. He's going to tell a little yeah. bit of his story. I'm going to tell a little bit of my story. Yeah, Amen. Sounds good. But Amen. before we do any of that, mm-hmm. we always have to go before the throne of prayer. And we're going to pray in right now. <laughs> Wherever you That's at, right. let's just take a minute to bow, bow our heads. Amen. Okay. Father Amen. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you as humble as we know how. Thank you once again for allowing us to be in your presence on the air. Everybody under the sound of my voice, we pray for their life right now, what they're going through, what, whatever it is. You know the situation right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray for healing for the sick. And we pray that, that continued success for everybody that's under the sound of my voice and those that want to be here that cannot be here. We pray for financial blessings as well. In the name of Jesus. God, you know, we love you. We need you. And we realize that we can do nothing without you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. These and many other blessings we ask in your son, Jesus Christ. Let everybody say what? I can hear you. Amen. 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 That's right. Good one. Good one. Thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right. Now, just before we get started, I want to remind everybody to call your friends up and tell everybody that past the Pastor Fisher Show podcast is on the air every That's Thursday right. at seven o'clock p.m. We we mm-hmm. premiere a brand new show, so we want you to let everybody to know. Don't forget to like. Don't yep. forget to share. Absolutely. Don't forget to comment. Leave a comment in the comment section. That's right. And most of all, we need for you mm-hmm. to subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Indeed. listen. I just, I just told, I just told Dwayne T. But we, but yeah. we came on. I just told him everybody that I see with a phone, if they right. even say hello to me and act like they know me, I'm giving them <laughs> this address, <laughs> this link to this, to this, to come on the podcast. So that's I'm right. giving it to you. I'm sharing it with you. Everybody mm-hmm. you know that's got a phone. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Let them know. Let them know. Spread you know? the word. Spread the yeah. word and tell them to subscribe to our channel here on the YouTube. That's the Pastor Bishop that's Show. Absolutely. So that's anyway. Right. Dwayne. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going, How you doing? On? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good, man. How about good? yourself? In good space? Yeah, yeah man. Right. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, man. You see, I'm in a different area. I see. Uh, I today. like the pomegranates. Yeah. Pomegranates behind you there. Yeah, they're good for you. So I said I might as well put some on the on the wall. No, I'm thank kidding. you, no. thank <laughs> you, thank you. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm in a I'm in a different location today. So you know, just got it. But we still want to make sure that the show happens. So you know, we absolutely, we absolutely. I appreciate you for that. Of course. Amen. Of course. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. So yeah, anyway, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with with okay. Black History. This is Black History Month. 
Yes. And what does black history mean to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and the only way, the best way that I can describe what black history means to me is just to tell just a teeny wee little bit of my story. Uh, okay. of my life, you know, yeah. because Dwayne, I can tell you right now, I can remember I was born in 1962. Okay. And I can remember signs uh, mm. in, in places that said blacks only when I was like mm. maybe three, four or five years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can remember yeah. seeing, uh, we used to go into I, my grandmama, she we she we used to go downtown St. Louis because that's where I'm from. Hey, St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis. St. Louis. Show me state, show me state. Yeah, <laughs> but we used to go downtown St. Louis, and they had uh they had some stores down there that we shopped at. Sticks Baron Fuller, they mm -hmm. had Famous and Bar. For those mm -hmm. of you who know about those, that I, I they don't you don't hear about them now because they, they they have totally went out of business or closed. But okay. these the, these were your Dillard's. Uh, uh, oh, okay. That's, that that you have today. You know, stores yeah, like that, yeah, you know, your, yeah. your, uh, um, uh, and so and and we had uh, well, I think we still have Woolworths. I think we still got yeah. Woolworths. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember going into Woolworths. But we used to go in there and we used to shop and we used to eat. But I remember they had a black section. In Woolworths? I, in Woolworths. Oh, I wow. remember that in downtown wow. St. Louis. Mm. And uh, I don't remember too much. Um about the uh uh the 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 day that the assassination of Dr. King but mm -hmm. um uh, but uh I do know that there was a lot going on around that time. I guess around that time I was probably about maybe I was born in 62 he, he, he I think he got shot in 68 mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. 68. Um mm -hmm. uh, so I was young. I was young. Mm -hmm. Uh 7 8 years old. Um mm -hmm. And then uh, as I got older in the 70s, of course, you know, they had bell bottoms and and they had froze after, yeah. you know, I tried to have me a fro. I could never get me a fro to grow. <laughs> you know, it would probably get about this long. You know right. what I'm saying? And then my hair was thin. I got thin mm -hmm. hair. So, you know, I tried to make it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. So went through that era. You know, the people wearing bell bottoms now, they don't know bell bottoms been been around. Come <laughs> it on was now. around in the seventies. <laughs> right, right. This this is a comeback. <laughs> yeah, this is a comeback. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So 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 uh, that's what we wore. You know, that's when Jackson Five was really big. It was the Jackson mm -hmm. Fives and the Jackson at that day at that time. The Jacksons mm -hmm. came up in the eighties, but it was the Jackson right. Five in the seventies. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. And. Um, I, I wanted to remind everybody, I forgot to tell you that, you know, um, I'm wearing my Dr. King shirt because mm -hmm. this is the real essence of my story that I'm that I'm here to tell you about. The real okay. essence of my story is how I got here in Atlanta. OK, because mm, okay. like I grew up in church mm -hmm. and um, churches in, in, in the 70s, churches used to affiliate with each other. You know, the choir I was in would go to another church and and and, and go to another church's anniversary or whatever celebration that they had and sing. Mm. Well, the president of the choir um, lived here. The pre Her daughter. Her daughter. Okay. The president of our choir in St. Louis lived here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And so we, they, we had a trip coming here in Atlanta. I'll never forget it. I was 16 years old. It was 1978. Okay. And I came here to Atlanta and we fellowship with that church. We also had a tour of the Dr. King uh, 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 Cemetery. He was, I think mm -hmm. at that time, it wasn't the um, the, King the King Center, Center. that it is now. He, right, was, he right. was literally at the cemetery. Right. And right. so we went to the cemetery and visited. We drove through a lot of the neighborhood. But the interesting thing that really impressed that that really uh 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 stayed with me was mm -hmm. how i felt here being in atlanta in mm -hmm. 1978 right because it felt good to be black mm -hmm. unlike in st louis here mm -hmm. in atlanta mm -hmm. i mean it was it was it was like a prestige to wow. be black right and i never felt it was in the air I never mm -hmm. felt that feeling before. Mm. And so we stayed at the Marriott, you know, downtown. Mm -hmm. And 
out of out of my hotel room, I looked out the window and I saw the Hilton across the street with the elevator on the side. Mm -hmm. I had never ever seen an elevator on the side of a building. Wow. So I was impressed okay. by that. Yeah. So I said, I'm gonna ride on that elevator. <laughs> so during that time we were here, I, I, I ran across the street, got on that elevator. Mm -hmm. And and Dwayne, I tell you this honest God truth. Okay. I rode that elevator up to the top. Mm -hmm. and, and and the spirit of God spoke to my heart mm -hmm. and told me that I will be coming back to Atlanta. Atlanta would be the place that I would have. I would raise my family and I would have all of my successes right here in Atlanta. Wow. As we was going up. Now, remember, I'm 16 years old. As we were going mm -hmm. up that um, going up the uh, 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 on the elevator. Mm hmm. That's how God spoke to me as I as I was looking out, you know, the window of that elevator. And you know, I'm right. I'm kind of afraid of heights too, but I but I'll take the challenge anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but as we were, as I was going up that elevator, I I I I remember God speaking to me in my heart, and I was looking mm -hmm. out the window, and he said, This is where all your successes would be. This is where you would raise your family. Wow. And I can as as you know. Mm -hmm. I have a family here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and absolutely. my wife's Virginia is from Virginia, and I'm from okay St. Louis, and yeah. so we came here. Wow. But um, also during that time, I can remember uh, riding my bike mm -hmm. in St. Louis, and I remember riding my bike on the sidewalk, and I remember. Mm -hmm. Cause I was, we was way on the south side of St. Louis, where where was known uh, uh, as the the white people's area. Oh, okay. And so I don't know for some reason why I rode my bike way over there, but it was I rode over there, and I remember a guy coming up on the sidewalk to try and to hit me. What in yes. his car? In his car. What? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. So, so that was those were my. Oh, I got one more. When I had mm -hmm. a job, I had a job uh, uh, that I was applying for mm -hmm. downtown uh, St. Louis on the riverfront. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I did everything I could to get this job, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as a cook in the kitchen. Okay. And um, and the guy uh, uh, just wouldn't return my calls, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't do nothing because the other manager was trying to get me in. Mm -hmm. But the kitchen manager just wouldn't. So I went in there. You know me. I'm going to go to you. I went, I went in there. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yes, yes. I went in there and I asked to speak to him. And I said, I introduced myself and I said, I'm applying for this job. And I don't know. You have an opening. Uh, uh, the other manager said that, that, you know, that you were hiring. And I'm just mm -hmm. trying to find out is there anything wrong or whatever, whatever, you know. And I mm -hmm. remember he, he was a white man. I remember he looked at me. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, let's just put it like this. This is this is quote unquote. Oh, he said, let's oh just boy. put it like this. Yeah. I just don't like the way you look. Oh, wow. What? And being young, I think this mm -hmm. was the early 80s when this came, when this mm -hmm. happened. Being young, I really didn't catch it. I was right. of course I was upset by what he said. Of course. But it took me a minute to think that he, he said the way. The way he didn't, the way the reason he didn't like the way I look is because I was black. Right, right. Not your physical appearance, but not my physical appearance, but because I was black. Wow. So, in my lifetime, hmm. those are. I may have had some others that don't stand out as much, but in my lifetime, mm -hmm. those are the, are the are the brushes that I've had. You know, mm -hmm. with 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 racism. You know, yeah, towards yeah. me personally, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm sure that there are others. You know, like I said, but this was these were at kind of at the forefront. And plus, I'm trying to keep it small right now. Yeah. You know, but um, but yeah, you know, mm -hmm. the, another thing, Dr. King, you see, I'm wearing my Dr. King shirt. Yeah. I forgot to say earlier that I have a video, a song that I do, lift every voice and sing. We're gonna put mm -hmm. it on. It's the featured song for this uh show today. Okay. It's a, you're gonna see a snippet, snippet of it at the end of the show. Oh, cool. But you but 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 go to the link and uh the link will be down in the description for you to hit the link and see the whole video in its entirety. So okay. I want you to check that video out. Lift every voice and sing. It's what I'm dedicating uh for uh Black History Month. Okay. Um 
Dr. King, I'm wearing my Dr. King shirt. I also am wearing this shirt in the video. Dr. Mm -hmm. King uh, has been my inspiration for as a black man at that time in the 60s and the 70s, mm -hmm. because my father wasn't in the house. So, but Dr. King was my inspiration. So wow. knowing that he was here from Atlanta and me being here in Atlanta and, and, and the way that it felt to be black in Atlanta was a proud thing to be back in those days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It was, a, it was it, 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 I mean, you, I mean, you was greeted. The white people even greeted you like, 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 like you was royalty. That's mm -hmm. the way I felt that that weekend that we were here. <laughs> right. Right. So, so anyway, right. so I, and I know that this being Dr. King's uh, hometown, mm -hmm. I know that that, 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 that was played the part in it of why it was the way it was. You know, here in, in Atlanta it, at the it had time, to. Had yeah, to be, yeah. And so, so anyway, that's how he became my biggest inspiration, and still is. Wow, that's so. But, uh, that's how I ended up here in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, my hey. story. Oh yeah. yeah, and one other thing that this is a part one because we got mm -hmm. another show we want to do. Uh, uh, a podcast. Of, uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm looking for a guest, somebody mm -hmm. that I'm that 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 I'm gonna bring on the show in part two. I'm not gonna tell nobody exactly mm -hmm. what it is, who who it is, but but uh, I'm looking for a guest to put on the show for for okay. part two. But the mm -hmm. other thing I want to say this is that um, I had never voted in my life. I didn't believe okay. in voting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel yeah. like that my voting counted. Or, or meant anything. That's the way right. I just felt about it. Right. But I got to tell you this. The very first time I voted mm -hmm. was with President Obama. Okay. And when I voted for him, mm -hmm. the fact that I voted for the first time and he won. <laughs> he won the right. highest office in the country. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that yeah. was like, oh my God, it it it, it, it was Restored my faith mm -hmm. in being a voter, right? You know, because all yeah. my life I heard, if you don't vote, don't complain. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't complain if you don't vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people gave up their lives for us to have the right to vote. True, Very and true. so, so, so that was that was the thing. I started voting, and I've been voting ever since. <laughs> even 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 in my local my local area in my community you know yeah. when they have these uh you know these local uh, uh voting uh, uh polls and stuff going on here yeah. you know I, I i go ahead and i go down and i vote yeah and that uh, vote's almost more important than the the main one to be honest yeah yeah you know yeah. so mm -hmm. so yeah so that's my story right there okay. uh, uh my black history story that i'm bringing <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. Talk to us. Yeah, yeah. So no, so um, something. I'm sure there are other times because uh, I grew up in New York, uh, okay. which is a lot more diverse. I guess is the best way to say it. Uh -huh. Um, than a lot of other uh, and and I and when I say New York is more like Long Island, so it there still kind of had some separation there, but it was more kind of more class than than straight skin color and and, and race okay. you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's more like you had middle class you know more poverty level higher upper class that kind of that kind of thing right um and so we were middle class so we lived i lived in a, sub, a suburban area uh, and didn't really see that because from the time i was young five years old i met my two best friends one's black one's white mm -hmm. so from early that that kind of dichotomy of everybody kind of just being together has always been that for me you mm -hmm. know and mm -hmm. so i never really saw that because we went to school with um ch uh, children that were asian children that were jewish children that were uh, black children you know that were italian every, every, everybody right right, kind of right. Went, went together indian and so everybody was mm -hmm. all together so you didn't really see that and right. you know i'm sure it was there right uh, and maybe right. a little bit more more hidden but mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really didn't see that in my upbringing per se. Mm -hmm. uh, I think as you as I moved to Florida, um, mm -hmm. it was a, a little more apparent 
Okay. Um, so for instance, um, okay. So there was a, okay. So let me use it this way. So I moved to Florida to a suburban area again, mm -hmm. but I had to get bused like 45 minutes to a different part of that city. Mm -hmm. But there's another city that's right next door, kind of a well to do area. Mm -hmm. And they had a whole high school for themselves. I could have, it could, they could have bust me there, and it right. would have been like half the time to get to school. Right. But they literally bust me across town, just because I was in another, another, um, you know, village. I guess is the way you would say right. it, right? Right. Right. And so that's, and I didn't even realize that that was a thing until they started busting me. They changed the routes and started busting me to that area, the other area where it had kind of the richer high end high school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, that's the high school I ended up graduating from. Right. Um, and that's where I started to see where these kids are my age, but they're coming in there with their cars and big old trucks with tires and wow. cowboy hats and all this kind of stuff. Right. 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 And this is like in the, in the nineties, <laughs> you know, early nineties. Mm -hmm. Right. So I started to see that there was a kind of a financial divide there, if mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. even though we were doing what we were doing fine. Mm -hmm. I still saw that divide. Right. right? Right. And I don't necessarily attribute that all to race, but I'm sure that has part of it to do with it. Right. Um, and part of it, the fact that maybe the, the people that were in that other city just didn't want people who were not in that same tax bracket okay. to be in okay. that area. You get what right. I'm saying? Right. right. So right. They, they looked at a little bit of a disparity there and they're like, yeah, no, we're not going to vote for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. But then right. the, shift, right. the shift occurred and then I ended up, and then later on, the funny thing is they ended up building a whole high school 10 minutes from my house there so i was like y'all could have did that all along yeah right you get right. what i'm saying yeah but but that was a little bit more hidden what i can say la i think last year now this is last year this is not like 20 years ago right right right, right. so i'm dropping off i dropped off my daughter to school i was coming back um went to the supermarket left the supermarket and was driving down this um it's kind of a main road where we live but you know mm -hmm. main road there and the speed limit i i guess the speed limit is probably 55 right no maybe 45 right so i i i admittedly right was probably 10 miles above it something like that mm -hmm. so they pulled me over um there was cops there um police officers however you want to say it and they they made me come over to the side. Mm -hmm. So um, so I start talking to the officer, and he is immediately saying, Oh, well, you know, um, um, I think I smell alcohol. Mm. I said On you? Uh, <laughs> right. Now anybody that knows me knows I don't drink, right? So wow. immediately okay. uh -huh. I'm on the defensive now because right. Right. it's impossible, right? Right. So what but before we even got there uh, and i'm going to go into that in a second but before okay. we got there there's another guy that he pulled over behind me mm -hmm. and then they talked to him for a second and just let him go and i was mm. like now that seems a little odd because mm. i don't know the situation but what right. i do know is that he didn't look like me right right okay um I, that that much is clear right right okay and he was pulled over the same way i was pulled over so you thought he was speeding too Right. Right. So right, don't right. don't act like you didn't. Right. 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 Uh, but so he's talking to me and he's looking at me and he says, yes, I, I you know, I, I think I smell alcohol. And I said and, and I just the only way I could respond was very frankly. I said, well, first of all, that's impossible because I don't drink. Mm -hmm. Like I just said it pl flat out. Right. Let's just right. shut that down right now. So that right. whatever body cam you can see that right. sees me and recording right. can tell right. see right there that that's impossible. Right. And right. you can do a breathalyzer, you can do whatever, and I'm, and that's not gonna come up. Right. So I was I was trying to get him to stop there, to be honest. Right, right. And stop that line of questioning or at least that line of accu accusatory language. Right. right. So we could get right. to the point. Right. Because the point is not that you didn't stop me because you thought I was drinking. Right. You stopped me because you saw that I was speeding. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, right. That we're on a totally different topic now. Right. 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 So but he, but he would he's like he's like so he's like um so where are you coming from? I was like well I just dropped my daughter off at school and I just came from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I said but let me let me let me say this probably what you're smelling 
is the hand sanitizer that I just used, which obviously has mm. alcohol in it. Right. 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 You know, I was kind of helping him there. Um, right. But then he's like, oh, yeah, I think it was that. Now, you know, mm-hmm. other alcohol and the rubbing alcohol don't smell the same. They don't smell the same. No, they don't. <laughs> so Trust I was trying me. to help I know. him know. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but I'm trying to help him <laughs> at that point, because right. if you take me down a different path, this is going to be a different conversation. And we're mm-hmm. going to be in front of somebody talking about it. And we're both going to have legal counsel. <laughs> right. Right. So right. I'm trying oh, to. Oh, like, there get, you go. Us, but no, but I'm just saying, like, you I, know, like, I, we can't I got do that. You, you know, right. you're not going right. to accuse me. And, right. You know, it's it's like 9 a.m. Like, right. I know there's some people that do that. Right. But you're not going to accuse me without any kind of proof. Right. Right. So right. let me tell you what he continued to do, though. Okay. After that, he's like. Well, hey, can you can you follow my finger along the window here? What? I promise you. Now, this is after I told him and gave right. him the reason for what he's why he smelled alcohol. He still did right. this, right? Um, and at the same time, I had um, texted my wife to let her know, like, hey, I got stopped, but I'm good. I just want to let you know exactly where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I'm, but I'm good. You know what right. I mean? I'll be home shortly because she's waiting for the car. Right, right, you know right, I mean? right. Um, and so he goes, <laughs> so he has me follow his finger. At, at the he's standing and tells tell me to follow his finger to the point. I said, Well, I can follow your finger, but the window thing that, that separates the front door and the back door is right here. So I can't follow you past that point. Right. Now, who in their right mind who's been drinking is gonna tell yeah. you all that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, there are funct- there yeah. are people who are functional like that. Right. But right. I'm already telling you, I gave you the reason that you smelled alcohol. Right. If anything. Right. And I told you everything that you asked me. But right. you're still on this, you know, he's like, well, you know, we just have a lot of a lot of people, you know, that uh, or he said, there's people out here who, you know, end up will drink in the morning or something like that or whatever. I'm trying to keep everybody safe. I said, listen. I'm a citizen here and I'm a resident here like everybody else. Like, let's be clear. Right. So you, you all went through all of that. You went through all right. of that. But the point was right. why he stopped you. When he, did he ever get to that point? Yeah, right. He eventually he got <laughs> there and I, I think he gave me a warning, you know, after okay. all that. But right. he probably gave me a warning because, you know, if he had given me a ticket, I'm like, you know what? Oh, we're going to go there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're going to have to go there at this point because. If you're gonna hold me back, right? You know what I mean? For something that you're assuming, first off, mm-hmm. with no physical proof, you didn't ask me to take a breathalyzer, you didn't ask me to do any of that. He didn't even ask right? you to step out the car, did he? Right. So mm-hmm. I'm still sitting in the car. So you know I wasn't drinking. Like, what right. are you talking about? You right. know what I mean? So to me, that was a very blatant uh, 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 accusation and assumption, mm-hmm. right? Both things together. And mm-hmm. And just for the fact that I saw him let the other person go, and I don't know the situation again, I don't know why he let that person go. But I do know that person was stopped behind me. Mm-hmm. The other officer talked to him and let him leave and go about his business. Now, mm-hmm. there was no signing of no paperwork and no looking at no license because I can right. see it because I'm waiting for the other guy to come back. Right. You know what I mean? So I see right. the whole interaction. So I was like, yeah. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes when we, everybody thinks... Like, oh, things are completely better. Listen, hands down, people are not getting hosed down in the street, right? Mm-hmm. So let's be clear. Right. Let me say that for everybody watching. That, that there are, it is significantly improved over mm-hmm. 19, six, the 1960s. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Let's just, I'm going to put that out there. Yeah. Yeah. What, I'm, what I am going to say also, though, mm-hmm. is that it has not been eradicated. Oh. That, that, that part <laughs> as well. I'm Absolutely gonna say not. both of those things are true. Yes. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And when I try to talk to my kids about it, my son is one of those like, oh, well, you know, we don't have the same issues that we had back then. That's true until you realize that when you go out into the street, the other person that's on the other end of your interaction might not think that. Right. You can think that all you want. Right. But if they don't think that and they have any kind of thinking of the past and they align themselves with that. Right. You could have a problem on your hands. Right. And your 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 life, your life could be in jeopardy. 
So I just want to make sure that you know, when you go out into the street, you have to be aware. And like when somebody tells you, like if you're with a, you know, in the future, if you're in a relationship, stuff like that, and a female says no, it is no. Mm -hmm. Because something as easy really as a miscommunication yeah. there yeah. can cause a whole lot of heartache for no reason. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I mean, but that's, that's something that was very, very recent to me. And when I told my mm -hmm. family, like I, 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 t I think I was talking to Christmas about it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they stopped you for that. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, they're like, no, you're the only person here who doesn't drink any alcohol, <laughs> right? right? In, in right. general. Right. And, and accused you of that. Right. Yeah. And so I was just offended because I just don't, understand in an area where not in the area where we live but i'm just saying to serve and protect mm -hmm. should mean that for everybody right 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 to serve and protect i mean many of the vehicles have it plastered on the side right and if it's not on the side of the vehicle i know it's in some kind of uh text that you all are getting in police academy training and all this other stuff right right Right. Isn't that, you know, that that's the kind of thing. The same way that doctors have a, a oath to do no harm. Right. I mean, it's right. the same aspect. And so for me, it was really just it was um, after the situation was over, it just kind of made me feel like, yeah, we've come a long way, but uh, we got a long way there. to go. We, 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 yeah, we got yeah, a long way. To I, don't go. Th I don't think it will and... ever be a completely eradicated. It's just not yeah. it's not possible. Yeah. You know, here in this country. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, it is really that situation that you had could have went so many other ways. He, you know, it, oh, I, yeah. I think it's quite, it's quite obvious that, um, that that officer, he he was fishing for a little bit right. more, right? Uh, than he than he could have. You know what I'm right. saying? I mean, right. I mean, I mean, just I mean, a good thing. I mean, he didn't actually step out the car, which 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 was good. You know right. what I'm saying? But 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 just to um uh what's the word I'm looking for? To delay mm -hmm. you, you know, to yeah. to, to yeah. hold you. Yeah. yeah. You know, over nothing. I mean, the point is if you're gonna give me the ticket, give me the ticket. Give me the warning, <laughs> give me the warning right. and let me be on my way. You know right. what I'm saying? But um right. Uh, don't 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 delay me because you're right. fishing for something or because I mean just that little bit in itself mm -hmm. shows something you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying you know yeah and like and you said no reason it, 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 it's no reason but um mm -hmm. but I you know I like to say that that it it, it is quite evident and mm -hmm. and especially now because you know I don't want to get into I'm not I'm not political i don't want to get into mm -hmm. that too deeply right. yeah. um but it's but it is much much more evident you know i told you the story about my my son mm -hmm. um oh it was, yes. in the, it was in the last video when i when i mentioned yeah, yeah, about yeah. my we son were just talking about that yeah. yeah when my son got stopped and i'm just grateful to god because mm -hmm. him being just turning 18 years right, old right. and it and being I, at night and it being at 11 30 at night yes yeah you yeah. know new year's eve just about yeah. ready to turn new year's they're yeah, already shooting tough. outside you can hear the you know them shooting the fireworks. And fireworks yep. and everything outside mm -hmm. so yeah. i mean i mean it, 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 it was when he told me i mean i it, he was here telling me but i yeah. still got the chills absolutely you know, of course just the absolutely. thought of how that could have went you know yeah, how it has gone for so many other and how it oh absolutely yeah absolutely there's a and, and and there's a i mean i'm not sorry to cut you man it's no, just, no no just, it's one of those things that you know people tend to remember names right specifically right because certain names were highlighted more um yeah. it doesn't mean anybody was more important it just means that certain people certain names were in the news right and so we are all familiar with those names yeah right yeah yeah. Um, but the fact that we are even familiar right. with these names and the premise behind that is part of the the, the issue, the main issue, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just really trying to sh to demonstrate a certain level of sy systemic uh, mm -hmm. racism that's there right. that people don't really believe. I mean, there's other people, of course, there's police that have issues with other people as well. 
Mm -hmm. But I think what we were trying to do as a as a community was just trying to highlight the fact that this is actually a, a real issue. I believe it is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, it's tough. Uh Black History Month. Mm -hmm. Uh to me, uh as a black man, I have seen a lot, you know, things that I never thought I would see in my lifetime. Yeah. Like I never thought I would see uh, a black president in and my no, lifetime. Nobody thought that. Nobody thought that. <laughs> For real. I, I never mean, thought people that. as people hoped, right? Right, right, right. But we never thought that. I mean, nobody would give us any indication to that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I remember when Jesse Jackson ran for president. I remember that too. You know, I I, uh, I didn't believe it was going to happen. Yeah, and, and it didn't. Did, but did you? But 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 the thing was, the fact that he ran was was a, was enough at that time. Well, that was a big thing because that was a really big. Yeah, to me, that was like, that was like, um what obama calls the audacity of hope right there right yeah yeah like that to have the audacity to even run <laughs> at that point right like yeah it's it's a shame i mean he's a citizen like everybody else right right, right so right. i mean anybody can run right yeah even yeah. then anybody could have run but yeah. the fact that he actually did it yeah um i i you know but i think the difference for me and I, and i'll let you get right back to it but the difference for me when i saw somebody like uh, president or former president uh, obama run mm -hmm. was the fact that to me i saw him in uh, what was it 2004 mm -hmm. yeah the 2004 um democratic convention when okay. he spoke okay and, and my wife and i were watching it and we were like who is this guy mm -hmm. i mean like it seemed like he came out of nowhere <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i was like Man, if he if he's on this trajectory, man, he might be a contender. I was thinking that. Right, right. Because right. he just, he, I mean, the level of execution of his speech, mm -hmm. and this is not the same as people saying, "Oh, he's he's so well spoken." No, mm -hmm. I'm talking about his oratory skills. Mm -hmm. Were such were were better than presidents that we had seen. Right, right. Literally, right. the president at that time wasn't as good of a speaker. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And so to see him um, in that 2004 spot of being just, you know, from Chicago and, and being right. a gra grassroots. Right. Um, I was like, wow, that yeah, he's a, he's 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 doing a lot because for him to get there. I, I had never seen. I don't remember seeing another, even though they probably were another um, black senator or something like that speaking at that convention. Mm -hmm. I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. So that tells you something right there. Right, 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 right. It's few and far between. If it ever, if yeah, it happened before yeah. that, it's few and far between. Yeah. So go but ahead. I'm sorry. I can no. I can actually be honest because I, like I said, I'm not political. I'm not. I didn't get yeah. involved in any of that stuff. I never heard right. him speak prior mm -hmm. to getting more and more involved with it when he started when he when he actually was running and became a candidate. Right. right. Uh, right. Um. But 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 the whole reason. I'm going to take straight up. I okay. voted for him because he was black. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, many you know people did. You know, and I mean, it was it wasn't anything about uh, how eloquently he could speak. It wasn't anything <laughs> about, because, like I said, I wasn't involved in politics. I didn't I didn't right. really right. care. And right. because I, I again and 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 people, you all will hear more about my story because I spent mm -hmm. a lot of years you know, drinking and drugging. I was I was an yeah. addict. Yeah. So things that was going on in the world, I was out of touch with. Right. My only thing was getting high. That mm -hmm. was my thing for mm -hmm. 20 years of my, uh, in my 20s and in my 30s of my lifetime. Yeah. So I stayed out of touch with all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yep. Um, and so... By the time he came along, I was I was I was on the road to uh, uh, recovery, as mm -hmm. they say, you know, deliverance mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, I had already uh, moved here, and mm -hmm. I I had already cleaned up. I had a couple of couple of clean years up under my belt, and mm -hmm. uh, I had met my wife, uh, uh, and then you know she was looking at my life. You know, I shared everything with her. So when he right. ran. 
you know, it was like, okay, well, I'm going to vote on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I'm going to vote on this one. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, but like I say, it, it was, it was the fact that he mm -hmm. ran. Yeah. The belief that he would win was not there. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think for anybody. I right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was not yeah. there. But the point yeah, is, I, I'm going to get in this number, and I'm mm -hmm. going to mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. vote because he's yeah. because he's black. Now, yeah. I've heard people have topics, you mm -hmm. know, or, or I've I've seen some 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 news special mm -hmm. on television where they have had topics uh, debating why people uh, voted for him. How, right. how that was wrong. Why would you vote for him? You should vote for him because of what he stands for. You should vote for him because of that. <laughs> you know, and I understand right. all that. You know what I'm yep. saying? You know, and, yep. and, 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 and and that's true. You know, mm -hmm. you should. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I, like I said, I don't want to get too political on this show. You know. Right. But right. um, but I literally voted for him. I'm saying it again because he was black. <laughs> and when when he won. Now, see, this mm -hmm. is the, this is what I got to. Uh, mm -hmm. When he won, yeah. it restored so much of my faith in even America. Yeah, you know the hope. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know Jesse Jackson, keep hope alive. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Hope became alive. You know, <laughs> now I know yeah. I can do anything. I can be anything. I can have mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. it, it, it wasn't that. That thing that 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 oppression that I had always felt at being black because I've never been ashamed of being black, right? You know, I just yeah. I, I did used to say, well, "Oh God, oh God, why? Why does it have to be this way?" You know what I'm saying? Why does <laughs> right. it have to be this way? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I'm yeah. not responsible for the color that I am. Neither exactly. are you responsible for the color you are. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, we all here, yeah. but I mean, uh, what's the problem? Right, right. <laughs> a problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know, and you know, and then you know, from the way I heard it and learned it, you know, you get so upset because we're st we steal and we rob and we take, but you you all were the, the original stealers and thieves uh -oh, and robbers uh -oh. and takers. <laughs> oh boy, yep. I know yep. I'm going a little bit. <laughs> listen, listen, you speaking you know the saying? truth. And then it's you the make truth. laws. Okay, I gotta mm -hmm. say this one. There are laws. Mm -hmm. Let me let me see if I can give an example. I would give mm -hmm. this example because I mm -hmm. think it's kind of funny. I know you're going to laugh about it. <laughs> I think oh, okay. there needs to be a law for mm -hmm. selling you a, 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 a big full-size family pack. I mean, uh, yeah, a, a, a pack of, of potato chips. Okay. And then when you open it, it's, <laughs> it's a quarter of the amount in the bag and the rest of it is air. You know what I'm saying? It should be right. a law. Why True. not make the, I don't care how much the price is, but why not make it fit the bag? Make the yeah. amount of potato chips, potato chips fit the bag. Right, right. Why would yeah. you sell me all this air? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> because, <clears throat> because, I mean, basically what happens is. That's stealing to me. Put to in, me, that's stealing. Well, <laughs> it would be if the weight was not accurate. <laughs> That's the problem, right? The uh -huh. weight is accurate. The weight is. They accurate. didn't say they. Were, they didn't say they were going to fill the bag. They said they're going to put this amount of ounces in there. That's the. That's the difference. But you can make two bags out of the one bag that you, you give me. But then I it mean, doesn't look like. But see, then it doesn't look like. But I'm still going to buy it. Maybe, but what happens is you may end up buying a different one if it looks like you're not getting as much. You get what I'm saying? So they go in there and do whatever psychology and and focus groups i guess or whatever the case they use we know they, this they, though they do that. i mean the whole know. country knows, this. knows. nobody's Every, speaking knows on this. this see if i was going to be in politics <laughs> right. oh boy <laughs> oh, this would hey, be one of the things that i would be i would be that's going what you after. run on <laughs> yes <laughs> That would be one of your political points. That would be <laughs> <laughs> make the bag fit the chips. You know oh, what I mean? Oh boy! Now that's a good. That's a good quote. You can make us some T-shirts on that. <laughs> make the bag fit the chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You know, that's good. So that's, that's what your I'm platform. Saying. But see, yeah. I'm, I'm and I'm just, I, I wanted to give that one in particular because. Right. I didn't like I said I don't want to touch some certain areas, you know yeah. what I'm saying. But when I talk yeah. about you know when we talk about you know thievery, 
in this mm -hmm. country, how you know mm -hmm. how people can le legally make it legal to basically to me you stealing from me. I'm just giving that example. That's right, that's that's a way right, of stealing. Right. I, I get you because you're lying. You're lying. Yeah. You straight up lying. Yeah. But you but you legalize this lying. This a lie. Right. You legalizing yep. it. Yep. You know, and Absolutely. but yet but yet you make laws to to, to cover that. But then mm. on top of that, but then on top of that, you know, you know, you got these other laws that 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 of course, you know, if you just outright steal something, you know, right. and, and, and then on top of that, ooh, see, see, I I want to I want to go so much deeper, but I I, uh -oh. I, I do uh -oh. I know I better not, you know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. But I mean, I mean, you want to keep all, this video up, right? We already know. <laughs> I'm gonna go through you here and want... edit. I'm gonna go through here and edit. And, you know, <laughs> no, no. Listen, listen. The fact no, of the matter is, if you can't, if you can't speak your mind, man. What's exactly. Exactly. You know what Freedom I mean? of speech, huh? Yeah. So they absolutely. say. That's so what they, they say. say. Well, we're so gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see right now. We go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. But I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, corporal punishment, for instance. I, I'm not yeah. into that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not into yeah. that. I don't think nobody has the right. To kill anybody, right. I, I don't have that right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I, trust me, I understand. I totally mm -hmm. understand. I mean, if somebody, God forbid, with somebody close to me in my family, if somebody would murder them or whatever, I can't. I, I, I'm a Christian. I'm I'm a believer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. You know. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill." True. You know what I'm saying? But I True. do believe in life sentences. You know, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't understand why why you say three and four triple life sentences because a person can only live one life sentence to start with. If you say yeah. life, life means life. So he's not gonna get out. So I mean, mm -hmm. what's the sense? It makes no sense to me. Yeah, you know, I, mean, that's I know something... why they I, I think I know why they do that though. Why they do that? Tell it, tell us the voice of reasoning. Please <laughs> help me to understand why. <laughs> I, I'm and I couldn't I could just be, you know, making it up, right? But what happens though, you know how you see some people and they have a certain sentence they get for uh, jail time, right? Um, but they get off for good behavior, like that right. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what they want to ensure is that the person doesn't get off, even if they ever had good behavior, they still don't get out. I think that's why they do it, personally. So if you say life in prison, right? For right. instance, and then all of a sudden now the person in good behavior, they get out after 25 years, right? Or something like that. Right. When it's like, oh man, I, they're supposed to be in there for life and justice really served, all that kind of stuff, right? Right. But for instance, let's say they had get, got off for good behavior and they had three life sentences. Well, let's say, all right, well, that's 25 years each time. You're not getting out. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, unless you were uh, 10 at the time or something weird like that. You know what I mean? Right. Like, that's the only way because it's like 75 years on, on a minimum at that point. Right. You know what I mean? So you'll never get out of there. And and I think that's why they stack them like that. that uh, that's my but, opinion. But my question is, there shouldn't be, if you you got a life sentence, mm -hmm. there shouldn't be no amount of good behavior that you could do. Now, uh, there might not be. There might in not order, be. In order to, to get out. I mean, that's, it, yeah. it just, it keep it simple. It just stops right yeah. there. That's all. Yeah. If you got life, you got life and that's it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I think, I, mean, I think they want to, uh, sorry to cut, but I no, think no. the whole good behavior is, you know, thinking that's, that somebody could still rehabilitate, right? You know, after they've served a certain amount of time, um, they want to maybe rehabilitate and hopefully get somebody who's rehabilitated back into the workforce so that they can work and then they can make more tax dollars. Maybe. Ah, uh, back <laughs> to know, the money. It's always I, back I, to the money. I, I don't know if that's the you're case, right. but I'm just you're saying right. that that's, that's possible. You're right. That's you're possible right. because every person that is in prison is draining the economy as opposed to building it, mm. right? Because they're using, unless they're private, but if it's a public facility, right. then they're taking government resources, right, to run that facility, right. which means right. tax dollars and everything else, I believe, run those facilities. So if that's the case, you can rehabilitate somebody, get them back on the on the street and working and doing good in society. Well, that's mm -hmm. tax that, dollars that you get back, technically, right? So right. I'm not saying that that's the reason. I'm just, to me, that's what it would make sense. Okay. <laughs> oh no no no! Even, I mean, even my, if you my, don't buy it, it's okay. Wheels, I'm just thinking. No 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 my, no! But you make a good point because again, like I said, as mm -hmm. as a believer. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, everybody deserves a, a chance. I mean, you might where you was at the time you did what you did. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you we all should be offered the opportunity to be able to be real, real, real rehabilitated and to, mm-hmm. you know, you know, you know, make amends, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that that's it. I no, just, no, no. I hear you if I'm clear. thinking that's one way to look at it. That's one way to right. look at it. Right. Right. And and it's a possibility. But, you know, when it comes to the families that are grieving from the loss of somebody who maybe took somebody's life, for instance, let's just use it like that. Right. Right. Um, I, I don't care. You could you could um, say life if you let them out one day before they're deceased. They'll think justice wasn't served. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because that their loved one didn't get that one day. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, it, you know, that that pain that comes with that after a while, they, I'm sure they just become numb to it because they just used to their family member being taken too soon. Yeah. And so it's it. they're never I can't say I mean, even as Christians, you know, I, I've seen some things, man, where on in the news where somebody, you know, took somebody's life and then the family went and forgave them. Like just went there and I was just went to, the, to say that. Ceremony, I was just right and forgave yeah. them. And I'm just like, to me, that is such a testament to the power of God mm-hmm. being able to look past the flesh and the pain mm-hmm. to be able to be obedient if that's if that's what you're feeling in that moment. Right. Right. I mean, like right. it's amazing. It's amazing to me. To it see is, that. especially when you have the you know the flip side of that is I've seen. Uh, proclaim those same uh, shows that mm-hmm. proclaim uh, uh, believers who mm-hmm. still want death for that person, yeah. who still yeah. cannot forgive. Yeah. yeah, you know it's it's hard though, man. That that's, that's a it that's really a very is. hard subject because everybody yeah. grieves differently. Yeah, and 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 sometimes when those people are wishing death on that person, they there's they that grief is so strong in them. That that's the only way that they feel that justification is by having that person feel the same pain they felt. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or right. having their family that that person's family feel the same thing that they're feeling. Yeah. You know, like I mean, but that's human nature, right? I mean, I'm not saying it's in God's eyes. Obviously, He wouldn't want us to do that. Right. But but we are still human beings. Right. And we are going to be in infall- we're going to be fallible when it comes to certain things that we're going through in life. You know, so I, I don't I don't know. There's there's obviously a right from a biblical standpoint. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes I, I can completely understand why somebody would have that stance and that feeling. Um, and I haven't even experienced that pain. Right. But I can still understand that pain. I can't too. I you know can't what I mean? Too. All right. Yeah. Understand the the feel like why they would go to that extreme to make sure somebody doesn't okay. get out of prison or right. gets a death penalty or whatever. They just don't feel right. it, they don't they don't okay. understand, you know. Well, well you, you convinced me. You convinced no, me. No, no, so. no. I'm not trying so to convince you. Go ahead I'm just... <laughs> get three or four life sentences so to right. ensure <laughs> that you will not get out, even with good behavior. <laughs> And, and even if they can overturn some stuff to get rid of one of those life sentences, you still got right. two more. They got to fight again. <laughs> so I got it. I got listen, it. listen. Got I'm it. not saying that's it. I'm just thinking right. that if 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 I was making a hypothetical scenario for why right. that might happen, that's right. what I would come up with. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Very so, good. So now that we now that we dropped it down to the lowest level of, you know, <laughs> for Black History Month. <laughs> Woo. Thanks. You yes, we I mean? did. Yes, we did. So yeah. let but you answer know what? These my are real topics, though. These are real topics. Yeah, though. they really are. Answer, yeah. answer this question for me. How do how does it feel to be a black? How do you feel to mm-hmm. be a black man in America? Whoa, sheesh! I already told you mine. That's, so you yeah, got to yeah, tell me yeah. yours. You know, um, it's it's such a a hard question for me to answer because. In America, I can only speak about my American experience. I can't speak about any other country. Right. Right. And I'm of Jamaican descent. Right. So in America. Mm -hmm. uh, And I have seen so many people be successful here. Mm -hmm. Right. Being black. Right. But be successful. Right. Um, 
And I've seen people that have been working hard and struggling the whole time. Mm -hmm. I see that too. But I think you see that in every race. You know what I mean? That That's the thing. Now, do I feel a little, am I aware of my skin color on a daily basis? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me just say that outright. I'm aware of it every day. Part of it is in my own mind. Let me be 100% clear. Mm -hmm. Part of that is in my own mind from me thinking about it. Right? Right. Um, knowing that even if I know everything should be a certain way I feel, like even, right. Right. that there are people out there that are looking at me at certain particular moments and thinking something different. Mm. I remember a time where a lady, I was in a parking lot in the supermarket. This was many years ago, though, um, but in my 20s, probably. And I was, she was walking past my car. Now, think about it. She's walking past my car. I'm in my car already. It's right. not like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, whatever the case is. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was it? Was that me? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking it backwards. I think I was walking past her car, I believe. Uh -huh. um, and she locked it, right? Right. Um, that's probably more for protection. But, mm -hmm. you know, like from my standpoint, you, you can't help but think. Well, if somebody else who didn't look like me, and I I think I'm not imposing, <laughs> you know what right, I mean? Like right. as a person, like I'm right. not somebody you like, I mean, people stop me asking for directions all the time, like if right. I'm in the city or whatever, right? Right. So I can't be that imposing if people are always asking me for direction, not all the time, but you know what I mean? They have right. no problem asking for assistance. Let me say it like that. Okay. Right? Okay. So I don't think I'm, a, I don't think I'm threatening uh, just from, I mean, maybe height wise, but maybe not from the aspect of um, me as a person, right? And and as my cause, physical cause, makeup. Because let's let our audience know, height wise, you are how yeah. tall? Uh, between six two and six three. Yes. Right. Yeah. So not average height, above average height. Above average right? height. Yes. I'll say uh -huh. it like that. Above average height. Um, but when she locked the door, I couldn't help but think, like, wow. I didn't know, I, and I would never know, but I would think, I thought like, man, she just did that because I'm just a black man walking past your car. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Right, right. Um, And so to answer your question, what does it feel like to be black? For me to be a black man in America, it feels like there's a lot of opportunity mm -hmm. to be very successful. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of barriers for certain aspects of that success. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of maybe getting venture capital to start businesses, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like as a black man that um, I don't, oh, I'm not always aware of the community that's out there that I could maybe bend together with to move forward in a certain direction for my business or, you know, uh, from an employment aspect or that kind of thing. I mm -hmm. feel like some of those resources aren't, not that they're readily, av not readily available. They're just not, readily always known and accessible mm -hmm. um as in with other communities mm -hmm. um i feel like i still have to prepare my children for absolutely whatever they're going yeah. to encounter and let them know that regardless of whether you think this or not there will be people who think of you a certain way i have to tell my son like you have to be very aware my daughter, you got to be very aware of how you might be present. It might be be perceived in the world, right? Right. right. Um, let me let me ask you this though. Why you in? Yeah, you I don't. Did about I, I, I didn't finish the whole question. I didn't finish the whole answer, but but because I probably should have answered it more concisely. But go ahead. No, no. I just wanted to why you was talking about that because I yeah. noticed with the I noticed with the with with that with our, with the our kids and their generation because yeah. when we talk about uh being racially profiled in their mm -hmm. generation mm -hmm. from what i can see mm -hmm. amongst them they don't see that like they mm -hmm. don't they don't they don't see that and they probably don't even have it uh, uh have have amongst that feeling themselves you mean? amongst themselves amongst their age group amongst their generation are you with me like but, they don't but, have but, what they don't they they don't they don't feel the uh uh 
uh, the race racism here mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. as we yeah. see, as we feel it, mm -hmm. as as I feel it. You know, yeah. uh, I'm a generation above you, so I feel yeah, it yeah, even yeah. more. Yeah. So, right. but that what they don't understand from what I hear when you talk about preparing your son, mm -hmm. from, when I hear you say that, I think about, I think about getting our kids aware that it's not the people that they're in their age group, in their in, mm. in, in, in their peer group, it's not mm. them that mm. they will be profiled by. It will be right. somebody in my age group. Probably. You know, yes. or in your yes. age group Absolutely. that will that and they're and because they're so uh, uh, uh oblivious. Oh I used yes. to are you hear are you hear that word? I like that. <laughs> Come on, boy. Bring out that hey, travel word. Guilty by association. <laughs> ah, there it is. Some reasoning. I like yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I used it in the right context. Too, you did. I? <laughs> what? Did you just say context, too? Come on, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This audience is really going to know how country I, I am, know. okay? I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm, listen. We, come on. We're going to keep it real for real. 100%. Here. 100%. 100%. But, yep. but, I, but, but, but like I said, they don't see yeah. it. I, yeah. I know when I talk to my 18 year old, he Absolutely. does not see it. Nope. I'm just nope. so glad that I have instilled in him that when that officer stopped him that night, I'm so mm. glad that he, he, he did what he was supposed to do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He just he, he he see I did teach my kids to say yes sir and 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 no sir yes ma'am and no ma'am you know right put right. the ma'am on it put the sir on it you know yeah put it on there it makes yeah I, I told them that now even though they don't use it all the time but yes. they do know when to use it come on it, it kicks yeah. in and that's important they, and that's most important that it Absolutely. kicks in you Absolutely. know what I'm saying just Absolutely. do what they say whatever yeah. it is because like you like like just like you. You know, mm -hmm. you know, they they some people are looking, they're they're looking to fish. People who don't look like us are looking, they're fishing mm -hmm. for stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know, eleven thirty I can't even I, I shudder again to think eleven thirty New yeah. Year's Eve yeah. at night. You know, I shudder at him out there by himself. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you know, absolutely. that's my son, but that's that's my baby right there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, I, absolutely. I, uh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, And let's just make sure to mention as well with, with that whole aspect you're talking about that uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was coming home from work. Yes. So let's be, let's just make sure we put that yes, out there too. Yes. I'm coming home from make work. Sure. When he comes yes. home from the club and his, like that. With his, with his, with his uniform on, with the right, name on it. Right, right. Right. You know I saying? just want to make sure, you know, because right, right. in case there's any discrepancy and somebody says, oh, well, what was he doing out that late? Well, he was coming home from work. Coming so home let's from just work. do that, too. Thank you again, Voice of Reasoning. <laughs> See what I'm saying? No, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. we got to put the whole context on it because right. sometimes people might think a certain thing because of the time frame. Right. 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 Like, right. no, no, we're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to take all of the excuse out. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, let's do that. Exactly. Exactly. You know I mean? but, but yeah, let me, let me, but, let me yeah, finish your. Because uh, I, I was very long winded in that answer and I wish I could have answered it uh, more quickly and uh, with a lot less words. <laughs> so, right, right. But, but uh, I think above all, um, being a black man in America is, to me, there's a certain level of strength with being a black man in America mm -hmm. that we don't tap into the way we should. Mm um I that's like that. my opinion personally mm -hmm. um because there has been a history of strength uh from the time of the transatlantic slave trade till now of black people rising above a situation that should have taken them down mm. and mm -hmm. so that being that strength right there is still there and this is why you see um certain people in society doing certain amazing things in the community. And that's why people look at it at, in awe because mm -hmm. they're like, well, you didn't even have the resources to do this. Right. right. It's not like in a different community where possibly you had the financial resources behind you right. where you could have done this and excelled and got to this level uh, because you had a support system there mm -hmm. in some cases 
and and this happens in every community so i don't want to make mm-hmm. it be like our community is the only one that overcomes adversity right right but right. but in, there are in a lot of cases the reason why we are so shocked sometimes mm-hmm. when somebody does something so amazing mm-hmm. is because they came from a circumstance that other people would not have been able to get out of to make that level of to to overcome that level of challenge Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And right, so when right. we look at it, we look at it and it makes the whole community feel better. Right. So, you know, because there's a whole and I want to um, use a couple of examples just to close out this point. There is a whole level of um, black golfers because of Tiger Woods. Mm-hmm. He okay. wasn't the first black yes. golfer ever. Right. 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 He right. was not the first ever. Right. But there's a whole faction of black golfers now mm-hmm. who saw Tiger Woods. And to them in that sports, Tiger Woods was like Obama in politics. Mm-hmm. You, you get what I mean? Right, like you didn't right. even think of golf like that right. from the black community because it was something that you usually Absolutely. had to go somewhere to play it. A, community, exactly. a, a, a country club or something right. like that. And, and you, the financial divide yeah. just didn't make it something that was... Um, Except not even acceptable, but accessible for a lot of people. Yeah, and even in my even even right now, just to say on the golfing part, even in my with my age group, Mm -hmm. a lot of I got I've got friends I haven't went yet, Mm -hmm. but I've I have friends that golf, Mm -hmm. and they asked me to come. I haven't gone yet, but they asked Mm -hmm. me. They golf. The point Mm -hmm. point I'm making is that they golf. Yeah. And I remember just just what you're saying. I remember that, you know, it wasn't a black thing to golf. No, no. It, just, it wasn't. I mean, anybody should be able to do anything. Right. Right. But we it wasn't promoted. It wasn't something right. that we even looked at but right. until you saw. I mean, and that's why and anytime you say Tiger Woods. Let's look past the personal side of things that he's gone through. But right. when you talk about from the athletic standpoint. Right. And 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 him being such a trailblazer in the right. field. Right. And it was so and you could tell there were other people in the golf community that were very frustrated that he was mm-hmm. that good. Right. Yes. Now, if that doesn't tell you that there's problems still, nothing will. Right. I mean, he's good. It's like anybody else. Jordan is good. Nobody had a problem. Why? Mm-hmm. Because for for so long, black people have been dominant in that sport. Mm-hmm. So Jordan is just the evolution of other great players. Mm-hmm. But you didn't see that in golf, right? You know what I mean, right? And and in tennis, to a, a lesser degree, you had Arthur Ashe, and then before you, you know, then you have Serena and Venus. Yeah, yeah. And where they were so dominant. That everybody was like, I, they don't even want to play them. <laughs> right, right. Doubles, singles, it doesn't matter. Right. You know what I mean? They right. were just so dominant. And you're seeing other young girl, I shouldn't say young women that are coming up mm-hmm. that are having that same effect to an yes. extent. Yes. And they're young in their careers. Yes. So uh, uh, so there's a there's a lot to unpack with just that question. Mm-hmm that I could actually go on a whole nother show and it just be that question. And well, we could you will do a be. whole show on that. <laughs> we we <laughs> remember I mean? we got we got we got uh we got three more shows to do in this month. <laughs> oh, and that's true. Actually we got four because one's gonna be dedicated towards, you know, Valentine. But uh um, yeah, yeah. But but yeah. yeah. So yeah, we gonna this is just part one. <laughs> yeah yeah because i mean that's such a i yeah. mean i'm sure if you bring an asian person and ask them that question you bring a you know indian person and ask them that question you bring somebody else you you'll see a lot of similarities right in, in the answer right but it'd be from our own experience right our, our own our own community experience right you know right. that kind of thing yeah so yeah mm-hmm. yeah but uh, but again i say uh my faith was restored Mm-hmm. At 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 the winning of Obama becoming president, my fa- mm-hmm. being a black man in America, yeah, that was that it, it went up so many levels. I don't think that I as at that time before that time prior to that, I don't mm-hmm. think that I 
felt if I don't get me wrong, I I I I the opportunities, I never thought I never thought that the opportunities came by the decisions that I made. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't blame uh, the opportunities are here. Right. You know, I can't I can't blame it on the system because I'm black. I can't I can't keep living in that because I'm black. Right. True. I, I, True. I, this is why this because I'm that because it was True. my decision. Uh, right. In my lifetime, you know, when I mm -hmm. dropped out of high school, when I mm -hmm. all those stuff that I've done in my lifetime, those were my decisions. True. You know what I'm saying? And so True. you reap what you sow. So therefore, mm -hmm. you know, you know, uh, uh, a lot of times we 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 struggle. We I mean, we do struggle because of we have to struggle because of the decisions that we made years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I being a black man in America. For me, like I said, my my faith was 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 taken up a whole lot more notches, you know, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because now mm -hmm. I know now that I need to make better decisions. Mm. I need to, uh, I need to check uh, uh, my surroundings, my 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 the, the people that I, I associate myself with. I, uh, yeah. I you know, I need to learn from people who are doing what I want to do, you know, because right, I can still right. get there. It doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't matter my what my education level is. It doesn't matter what my I can still get there because others have gotten there. Uh, and they, it's been a proven fact that it can be done. Right. You know, and we, I, we could be in a, in a third world country somewhere where, where we have none of the 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 uh, the luxuries of life that we have. Mm -hmm today right you know what true. i'm saying cuz there are Very there true. are people you can turn on your tv there are people who are on the other side of the, uh, uh, of the earth who are living who wished i mean they can't Come even on. imagine the lifestyle right. what we call poverty here is nothing mm -hmm. compared to the poverty that's going on Absolutely. somewhere else Absolutely. you know what i'm saying true. so i Absolutely. am grateful to yeah. be uh an american to be to be mm -hmm. here uh mm -hmm. and to have the opportunities i've been self employed now for uh, uh, twenty years, come on I've been self-employed. Yay! Thank come you. On now. Yay. Come on now, come on now. I've been self-employed for twenty years. That's an opportunity, yeah. absolutely. Here in America, yep. That I was able to create something that 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 I could do, uh, uh in spite of the shortcomings mm -hmm. that I made in the early times of my life. You know, yeah. and I yeah. have seen people. With with college educations, who mm -hmm. still worked at McDonald's, who still, who mm -hmm. have degrees. That's what I meant to say. Absolutely. Who have degrees Absolutely. Absolutely. and working at McDonald's, not even in the field that they went to, that they have the degree in. Right, right, right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Absolutely. And so and so 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 it's it's just really, you know, it's brought back to individualizing. You know, what you want in life, mm -hmm. we can have it. We can we can we can achieve it. You know, Absolutely. you know, yep. if we if we just if we just work for it, but you got to go through what you got to go through. If you're not willing to do the work, you're not willing to reap the benefits of of, of what that it is, is you're truth. trying to do. So yeah. but anyway, yeah. that brings <laughs> us. I have no more to say. Uh -oh, <laughs> there <finished>. we go. <laughs> see, yeah, I would just say, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm just going to tell everybody, see what they're getting from us. They don't mm -hmm. know. That me and you talk like this for a whole year on the phone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just like this. Just and actually, like this. they're getting the short version. They might be right. an hour <laughs> plus some change right here, right now. But yeah. me and Dwayne, we used to be on the phone two, sometimes yep. close to three hours. Yep. Absolutely. On the phone. Because one thing about us, somebody, we both got to have the last words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, as, as I was you trying know. to talk, right, right, when you said that, <laughs> you're not gonna outword uh, me, so <laughs> right. No, that's true. That's true. You can definitely outword me. You're right. You're right. I try to get my words in when I can. Yeah, but yeah. You can definitely outword me. There's no question. No question. No, Go but ahead, yeah, though. but I, no. I think, um, I think you know, um, with with this being the first installment. Um, of the Black History Month series that we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, I think what we talked about today uh, maybe raise some, some will raise some iron, some people, right? Like rub people mm -hmm. the wrong way to an extent. But I hope it does. Oh, right? yeah. Be yeah. Because I, I, I'm hoping that what that does, it raises that level of 
un, uh, discomfort in people that makes them think differently mm-hmm. about what you see as a black man being and their contribution to America. Right? Like right. when you see a black man, you don't think, oh, you know, they're all lazy. Uh, you don't think, oh, they 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 just want to game the government system. Or you mm. think all of these weird things, right, that people right. have these thoughts. I mean, they have right. about other communities too, but I can only speak about this community. Right. Right. And and you know, our pastor raised a, a really good point that um as believers we don't see color. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a challenge though to be in a color. <laughs> you, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And not right. see a color. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. So I think that's part of where the flesh we battle the flesh, right? Because the flesh yeah. is telling you like, listen, you know people don't people think a certain thing about you. Uh, all whatever the case may be and you're thinking that in your mind. And so you construct these things and mm-hmm. you live with this this construct in your mind all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think part of um this series is us trying to maybe deconstruct that a little bit right and but first by realizing we have just as much if not more significance in this country as any other community Mm -hmm. to be very honest yeah right yeah our significance is so is so immense in this community that i think what people feel is the neglect of acting like we weren't significant. Mm. I think that's what people feel. Excuse me. They feel like how could you how could you downplay and devalue the significance and what we've brought to this country in terms of innovation, in right. terms of just labor, in right. terms of so many things. And so what I'm my hope is as we're talking uh, throughout this month, that we also hold ourselves to a higher standard of what we can achieve. Mm-hmm. Like we we don't just look at it and say, "Oh, well, you know what? We're in we live in a great country and we can do this." But no, let's go out and do it. Let's right. elevate to a level where we can be another beacon of saying, "Black people are got you know." They love the Lord. And even if they don't love the Lord, they are still people that are significant and needed in this mm-hmm. country. The black man is a needed entity in this country, and we don't need him in the incarcerated. We need him out being oh. productive and serving his family. That's what we need him to do. Oh, man. You get what I'm saying? That's good. That's good. That's Absolutely. what we need. We need we need to not right. have that incarceration. And so what's causing that incarceration is people feeling that they're not needed. Mm. That's what is real because they have nothing to lose. See, the thing is, I have a family. I got something to lose. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like right. I can be very clear and very, you know, passionate about the fact that I have a lot to lose. I'm very grateful right. for the family that I have and the friendships that I have with you and other people. Right. Um, and I wouldn't want to do something stupid to jeopardize to any jeopardize of that. that. Yeah. But there's there are and it's not just our community, but I'm talking about black men specifically. There right. are black men out there that feel that they are not significant. And because they feel that way, right. they go out and do reckless things mm-hmm. that cause them to lose their freedom. Mm. That's mm. And, and, and sometimes they're just trying to feed their family. And they haven't gotten a break or whatever the case may be. And instead of, you know, chasing something that will be more of a challenge, they chase something that is not a challenge and is mm-hmm. readily acceptable, readily accessible again in our community, which is right. drugs and whatever the case may be. Why is it accessible? Now, that's another show, <laughs> but, but yes. you, you know, but yeah. they still do that because they feel like, oh, this is a way that I can provide. You heard Tupac say that in the song. Mm-hmm. It feels good putting getting money in the mailbox, right? Paying the bills right. and exactly. paying the rent when the rent's due. Right. 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 All of these things. The, people there's a sense of pride from being able to do that. And if if you grew up and people made you feel less than, you don't have that pride. Mm-hmm. So you grow up and say, "Okay, this is what people do to survive in my area instead of whatever else." And I don't see great examples all the time. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this. And then guess what? At least I can pay my bills now. Right. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. It's but it comes at a cost, and a lot of yeah. times that's your freedom. Yeah, you're right. You know you're mean? right. So, right. Oof. Yeah, I didn't mean to go so and you take it there, but no, man, you done got hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> You done got hot, man. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, is, I, I don't know another way to say it, you know. You said it all, brother. You said it all. And you know what, man? We, that's yeah. definitely a, a definitely a, a continuation Absolutely. for our for our for our, for this month's series of, uh, of, of our Black History Month. We're going to definitely talk about that. And as you're talking, yeah. I'm lit. My wheels are turning um, <laughs> for 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 for. for for uh, number two, part two, yeah, yeah. of this series. Yeah. But Absolutely. at that, with that note right there, yeah. yes, sir. It is. What time is it? It uh, is praise, praise break time. Break time. <laughs> yeah. so you just got the word. <laughs> the way she just got the word. <laughs> Come on, so let's get our praise. Oh, let's, on. Go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh huh. <laughs> well, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You are tip. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you are tip. You are tip. I can't. I can't help it. You say you like that. Praise break because the word oh, has gone forth. Absolutely. 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 Amen. And we just oh. want to thank you all for tuning yes, in you. and being a part of this. Pastor Fisher Show podcast 100%. family. That's right. That's right. That's right. We are family. family. Uh oh. Come on now. Yeah, just sing that snippet because we can't pay for the rest. I know. Okay. <laughs> no more. I'm not going to do it again. I know. I know. But anyway, uh, anyway, yeah. anyway, we get, again, please tune in and check us out. Yep. Tell everybody about the Pastor Fisher show. Absolutely. Everybody who got a telephone. Yes. Go ahead. And don't forget, we still have you on my website, pastorfisher.net. Mm -hmm. Put it on the screen. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> pastorfisher.net. You can go mm -hmm. on there. There is a page that you can go ahead because we 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 I'm I'm featuring having a showcase featuring new artists, oh, and if yeah. you would like to be an artist on our showcase, we're gonna we're gonna have a whole showcase. You got to go on there and you got to apply to be an artist on the on the Pastor Fisher showcase, and so yeah, that's great. something we're gonna do for this summer. So I want mm -hmm. you to go ahead and apply. We're gonna have auditions. We're gonna do the whole nine once we get enough people that have signed up for it. So go to pastorfisher.net and sign up. Go to my website. Check out the whole website. <laughs> but yeah, also yeah. definitely go there and tell anybody that is if you within any type of artist you are, if you are if you're an artist, spoken word, whatever you do, we we, we want to help you to get to the next level of, of your artistry where you what 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 you do. And Absolutely. so so that's what we're gonna do. So uh go ahead, awesome. but, but remember all, all of the materials gotta be clean. It's got to be clean. Now. Remember, Come on we're talking now. past the fisher. Now, don't don't Come even pass now. out, okay? Don't be clean stuff, okay? But fisher anyway, go man. ahead and do that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and do that as well. But go ahead and subscribe, subscribe, right. subscribe to our channel. Make Absolutely. sure you leave a comment if you like what we talked about today. Make sure you leave a comment. Tell us what you think about what, about what we talked about today, and we want to hear from you. Yeah, and uh, and like our page, yes. amen. And notify and hit the notification bell and hit the notification. I know bell. you're about to say it. I know you're about to yes, say it. Yes, I was. I was. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I, know. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. I love it. See, we're honest here, man. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We come Absolutely. a long way, baby. We come a long. Come way. on now. Come on now. <laughs> now but it. anyway, be looking forward to part two. Yes. Of Black History Month 2024 That's here right. on the Pastor Fisher Show. We're going to have right. Dwayne to go ahead and I pray this in. We're going to have him to pray us out. Oh, yeah. That's and right. don't forget my snippet, Lift Every Voice and Sing. It's going to come up right after the prayer. And oh. uh, and uh, and then you can go ahead and hit the link, and then you can see the whole uh, video in its entirety. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Come on, Dwayne. Amen. Take us out. All right. Let's bow our heads. So, Lord, uh, this has been such a, an, an honor and a privilege to be able to come before you yes, and Lord. speak truth. 
to speak uh, wisdom from you is not from us, but just from our shared experiences. Yes, Lord. And just from us trying our best to convey our hearts and thoughts uh, to an audience and to you, we are so appreciative of this time and being able to have the freedom to speak freely uh, in a country without uh, being barred yes. or speaking what we uh, know to be is the truth. Um, we we're grateful and and welcome the opportunity to continue this and we just ask that you uh, have your hedge of protection not only over our families but everybody who's viewing and everybody who will view in the future we ask you uh, to keep them ask them to ask you to prosper them uh, we ask you to keep them healthy and safe uh, in Jesus name amen in Jesus name and our scripture for this show is 2 Corinthians 5.17. Okay. If nice. any man, that mm -hmm. includes woman, child, boy, or girl, if mm -hmm. any man be in Christ, mm -hmm. he is a new creature. New creature. All things mm -hmm. are passed away. Amen. Behold, all things become new. Mm. Check it out. That's right. Check it out. Corinthians 5.17. All um, right, y'all be blessed. <laughs> Until the hey. next time. All right now. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountain. Lift it. Till that heaven